House Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has introduced a bill which would cut funding from cities and states that fail to protect historic statues and monuments. McCarthy said this, many seem to agree with Speaker Pelosi who excused mob rule as people will do what they do. My legislation has real consequences. It is time to respect our laws, protect our history, and punish the statue smashers. McCarthy's Democratic opponent this fall tweeted this, is this a joke? Someone tell this fool that almost 140,000 Americans have died and millions are unemployed. How out of touch can one politician be? Again, that's a tweet there. Power panel slides back in, Jason Meister, Ethan Bierman. Ethan, I promise to come to you first, your reaction. Yeah, it's, it's easy. This is red meat to the base, and it's a terrible misdirection like my grandfather, the magician, would have taught me to do. Look, 140,000 people is absolutely right. A botched federal response to COVID-19. We have Putin still getting away with putting a bounty on the heads of U.S. troops. He should be focused on that. And if you really believe in the Bible, why is he so focused on idol worship of statues? This makes no sense, and it's, it's just it's a terrible move by Leader McCarthy. I got a lot out of that, including that your grandfather was a magician. Uh, uh, Jason? Uh, Harris, I couldn't disagree more. Uh, look, it's, it's wrong, okay, to erase American history and our heritage. We need to learn from our history. We are the greatest country on earth. So, look, when you look at what, which, which statues they're targeting, Abraham Lincoln, Ulysses S. Grant, uh, this is not about race or police brutality. This is about a cultural revolution. And so if the Democrat-run mayors and governors are not going to step in, I think the federal government should. So I just want to make sure I understand you right, Ethan Behrman, that, you know, now is just not the time to talk about this. But what about the idea of, of enhancing what we see, protect what's up there, protect that history? I'm just playing devil's advocate advocate because you'd have to spend more money to do this, but put up plaques or, or put up things that put these statues in perspective. What's your thought? Well, I'm a big believer in teaching history. I think that's one of our shortcomings in this country as we forget every human generation. I agree what has there. Happened before us. Yeah, we need more. So I know, you, <laughs> I know you do. So look, history is taught in school and history books at museums and elsewhere. We don't need to have statues up of traitorous Confederate generals, those are not necessarily necessary in the public square. The plaque serves no real purpose in that situation. Look, I think that there is a good conversation to be had about people like Ulysses S. Grant. He actually uh, was an abolitionist and married uh, into a family where he fought against their slave owning. So I think that there's a great conversation to be had there. But to defund cities in a time when our economy is in a deep recession, it, it's just the wrong move by Leader McCarthy. All right, a few seconds left, Jason. I think it's important that the Democrats that run those cities and those states need to take control of what's going on. The, this is American history. We should learn the good, the bad, the ugly, and we shouldn't be allowing this cultural revolution to erase our history. Jason Meister, Ethan Behrman, good to see you both. Thank